My name is Erica Smith, and I am the director of Twelfth Night at Clear Creek Community Theater, and I am also playing Maria. Ooh, it's very Shakespearean. Um, basically, well, there's two different storylines going on at the same time. You've got the love story in which there, is, there are two twins, a boy and a girl, who have been separated by a storm, and they think the other person's dead. And they land on the same place, and they try to create new lives but of course they're twins there's a lot of mistaken identity especially because the girl dresses up like a boy in order to in order to survive on the comedy scene there is a very pompous arrogant character named Malvolio and the other um, funny characters decide to play a prank on him um, and then there's just all kinds of giggles and physical humor and such because of that prank. But as is with all Shakespearean comedies, everybody's happy at the end. I did modernize it. Um, it does. It takes place on an island, and w one of the great things about Shakespeare's plays is that you really can set them in almost any time period. You don't have to be restricted to Elizabethan England. And so since so much of it happens on an island and there is a shipwreck, we kind of have this almost like a beach spa resort thing going on. So we've got characters wearing Hawaiian shirts, there's a tiki bar, there will be drinks and coconut uh, cups. Um, and, and sundresses and hats and sunglasses and such like that. I'm also going to say this as an English teacher because I, I teach Shakespeare. Um, we see the, the vocabulary level of, of people going down every year with you know 140 characters per tweet and, and, and texting and such like that. Um, and so what Shakespeare allows us to do is kind of just remember the language that English is. Um, and it's not difficult. It, it, I think it may frighten some people, but when you get a lot of the physicality into it and you, you get the sets and the costumes, it really is quite easy to understand. And uh, you usually will leave with a, a new quote in your head or a new Shakespearean insult in your head because it's, it's very versatile. Jeremy and Juliet. Uh, Jeremy is playing Viola, who is the twin. And then you've got Juliet, who is the Olivia, who is the, the, the countess that everybody wants to marry. And, uh, What's great about both of them is they're both theater teachers. They're both very experienced with Shakespeare. Um, I have worked with Juliet in the past. She was my Lady Macbeth. Um, and I've worked with Jeremy in the past. And they both just bring so much energy and, and, and ideas into who they think their characters are. And they are I mean, they're just absolutely amazing. I think as also, if, you, if, if for people who want to be actors, this is a show they should see because there are so many different characters. Every Every character in here has their own personality. You've got a drunkard, you've got an idiot, you've got a fool, you've got someone who is egotistical. And so somebody who wants to be an actor or somebody who enjoys theater, they really get to see all those different individual people. I mean, there's, it's not like it's a clump. Every actor has their own specific character and brings something to it. And so it's just a great thing to watch. This is one of the funniest plays that, that I've, I've definitely directed. Um, I, I've done you know, Much Ado and Midsummer, where there's a lot of intellectual humor. But this one, there's, there is that intellectual humor, but there's also lowbrow humor and physical humor. And so it's, it definitely appeals to a more variety of audiences. This is something you can bring a teenager to, probably not a child. Um, but it's, it's easy to understand, and it's, it's fun. And you leave feeling good. And you've, you've just seen a really great, a really great production, and it's, it's funny. <laughs>